Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm super excited to be doing a bit of an iPhone tutorial. I'm sure you guys have seen the new update, um, the iOS 14 update. Everyone's going crazy for the new like customization of your home screen. And I know for me, like it can be really overwhelming at first when something new comes out and there's all these cool icons and all these photos and graphics you can add into your home screen. And it is a bit tricky to know how to do it exactly. But once you know, it is super easy. So I'm basically here to show you guys how you customize your phone and some other little tips and tricks as well in the new update. So I want to get into it. I will show you my home screen. I'm loving it. Home screen, it is nice and pretty and pink. I'm loving how much more minimal it can be now and just really like aesthetically pleasing. Um, there is obviously some change in terms of like when you customize your icons and what those changes are and I will let you guys know that when we get to that step so I'm basically going to take you guys through like steps so we're going to start at the easy and then I'm going to work up to more like customized icons and stuff like that so I hope you guys enjoy if you have any questions just please comment them below and yeah I have also um, made up some packs that you guys can grab as well um, if you have my planners you would know I love little icons and gifts and stuff like that. So um, yeah, I've made these two iPhone organization packs that comes in blush and beige and gray and mint, just like my 2021 planners. So I'll put the link for those below so you guys can purchase them if you want, which has like widget backgrounds, it has wallpapers, it has all your icons as well. All right, so let's get started. So first up, let's go on to my phone. All right, so here is my home screen up close. So you can see I've done the customized icons. I've got images here. I've got a personalized time and date. And I've also got some quotes and I just love how easy and simple this looks. Yeah, so basically what I'm gonna show you guys is the widgets. So Apple's new update basically comes with their own widgets as well. Okay, so firstly, you guys wanna make sure you've got the latest update. So you can do that by going to settings and then you can go to software update and it will tell you if you need to install a new one. So this is basically, I've already got the update, but obviously they've made another one for any bugs, so I'll install that later. But yeah, as long as you've got the iOS 14 update, you're good to go. So from the home screen, we're gonna swipe left, and this will show you the widgets that you already have. So this could be apps that you've already got that also allow widgets on the home screen. So I've got like Google Calendar, I've got battery for my watch and iPhone, and also, a little one that shows what I've got on for the day up there. So if you want to see what more you've got, you just go down here to edit and then you see you're in customize. So from here, you can press the plus app and this will show you all the other widgets you have available to you. So you've got like podcasts, you've got notes, you've got world clock. There is a lot available, um, which if you want it to be more functional, you can simply use them and like even add things like your screen time. So now, as you guys can see, I've added the screen time app in there and that will just show me at a glance how much time I've been spending on my phone. Now, one thing you need to make sure you know is obviously how to put your home screen into edit mode. And you can do this simply by holding down on an app and then click edit home screen and you'll see everything starts to jiggle. <laughs> Once you're in edit mode like this, you can see up the top you have a little plus symbol and that's going to allow you to add more widgets, photos and everything like that. You can also move these across by holding down and sliding and you can bring them across as well. So that's your really basic customization. So now I'm going to teach you guys how we can put this cute little time and date on your phone. So there's a few apps that you will need to download to get this kind of look. So I'll tell you what they are now. So if you just swipe left and go into the search bar and start writing in App Store, it will pop up. And then from here, now I want you guys to download Widget Smith. So that's one you need. Next app is called Color Widgets and that's going to allow you to have customized date and time. And if you can also do that as images as well. And then you also need to grab Photo Widgets. So that's going to allow you to have little albums and you can actually customize how it clicks through. So we're going to start in color widget first, and this is just gonna help us get our date and times up. So when you open the app, you can see there's heaps of different options that already have some really cool backgrounds. And it really just depends on what you wanna do. So you can use one that's already been made up for you, or we can customize our own. So for mine, you can see I've actually customized a fair few because I was having a play around with this. So you can have really pretty backgrounds, uh, which are all in the packs as well. So yeah, basically to do this, Let's say we're gonna start from scratch. So in here you can choose whichever one you like and you can go to edit and you can change the background photo. So you can choose whichever background photo you'd like. So for example, we can use this one and you can also choose the sizes as well. 
You can also change the font and the theme as well. So it just depends. You can also do it as a photo only widget. So that can be an easier way to do it as well. So once you've done that, you go to set widget and you can replace widgets or just add new ones as well. So let's just say set as new widget and then that's done. Now to actually add this to your home screen, you wanna exit out, go back to your home screen. Then we're gonna put our home screen into edit mode. So simply hold down on any icon. We're just gonna click this little plus sign up the top here. So now I want you to type in color widget, which is that we just used. Click on that and that will allow you now to choose which size. So I think we wanted to go the medium. So now you can see it's added one of my widgets to the home screen. So this is one I've already done. So as you guys saw, I've got a fair amount. So you can actually choose which ones of your saved widgets you want to have. So it's super easy. And yeah, you can just change. If you want to just have the one, you can have the one as well. And again, if you want to move it, you hold down and then press edit home screen and you can just move it around. To delete any of your widgets or icons, you literally just click on the little minus button up in the corner there and then press remove. Easy. All right, so now it's back to how it was before. So now I'm going to show you guys how to add photos to your home screen. So what we're gonna do now is go into the photo widget app, which you can do by just searching for it in the sidebar. So as you guys can see, I've already got my little album going on. When you open this, yours will obviously be blank. So you're just gonna press the plus button and then go through your pictures and you can choose whichever one you want. A cool thing about this app too is you can go into settings and, and it can actually change between your photos. So you can have it refresh to a new photo every 48 hours, every couple of minutes, stuff like that. So it's like always changing so you can see all your favorite photos on your home screen. You can also show the date in the widget, you can show a title, all those different things. You can, now you've added some photos to your widget, I want you to go back to your home screen and press edit home screen by holding on an app. Edit home screen, so now we're in edit mode. Press the plus symbol again, and we're just gonna search for photo widget. So that's there, so we click on that. And now we can also add what size you want. So you can have a big photo if you like, or you can have a small photo. So let's just add the small photo. And as you can see, it's been added to my home screen. And again, we can just move that around. And to get out of edit mode, I just swipe up. So that's how you can add photos to your home screen. So now I'm gonna show you guys how to add quotes. You can do this the exact same way as using the as a photo widget, but as I said, you can change between photos with that. So I've decided to use Widget Smith for this one and that will just stay on that image. It really just depends on what you guys wanna do. All right, so now we're gonna go into your Widget Smith. As you guys can see here, I've got some quotes, I've got some photos happening. Um, you can do dates in this one as well. So what we wanna do is scroll down. You're gonna have nothing on there, so you're gonna add small widget. Go into the recently added one. You can choose between having clocks, dates, times again. We're gonna scroll down and go to photo, and then we're going to go selected photo. So I'm gonna choose one of these quotes, which is in my packs um, that I told you guys about before. So we'll just do breathe. So now we're gonna go click on the small one again, and then we just press save. You can also do medium sized widgets and large ones as well. So again, just to add this to your home screen, just like all the other ones, you're gonna hold down, put it, your phone into edit mode, press the plus button, search for widget smith. Click on widget smith. So you wanna add a small widget again, and you'll see it pops up. Super easy guys, and yeah, you can have a few different quotes in there if you want. Super easy, and again, you can move it around. So if you want two quotes or three quotes, you want images, you can do that too. All right guys, so now I'm gonna teach you how to make your apps appear as customized. So when I say appear, this basically is not really customizing the actual app itself. This is creating a shortcut. So you're using your own image, like the little icons I created in the packs, and that's gonna now be a shortcut to get to the apps that you wanna get to. So I hope that makes sense. The only downside with this is you're not going to get the little red. So if you do this, you're not gonna get those little red notification icons. Now, not having the little red notification icons for me does not bother me at all. Um, I prefer it. One other thing you could do if you're someone who really likes notifications but still wanna have some cute little icons, you could make them just for apps such as like camera, clock, stuff like that that doesn't necessarily have notifications. So I wanna show you guys how to do this now. All right, so the app you need to download is called Shortcuts. 
Firstly, the easiest way to do this, if you wanna do like a full screen, is make sure you've got all your little icon photos in your photo gallery so they're ready to go. So what we're gonna do now is go into shortcuts. As you guys can see, I've got heaps of shortcuts made already. So yours is going to be blank. So we're gonna click on the little plus sign here, add action, and then, and then we're gonna click on scripting, and then open app. So now we're gonna choose the app we wanna create the custom icon for. So let's say, for example, calculator. So this means when I click on this icon, it's gonna open up the calculator. Then we're gonna press on these three little dots here and then click add to home screen. Now here's where you're going to name it and also give it an image. So I'm gonna obviously type in calculator. And then I'm gonna click on this little picture here and then we're gonna to go to choose picture. Open up your gallery. So I'm gonna choose this little icon of a calculator. Zoom in as you need and then press choose. And now you can see it's made the little icon there. So if you wanna go for a really minimal look, you can also leave this blank. So it's gonna have no text underneath. But and then press add. So now it's been added to the home screen. So swipe up, you can see it's just there. So you can do that for all your main apps that you would like to have on your home screen, um, or you can just do it for a few. All right, so like I mentioned, we're not necessarily customizing the apps themselves, we're just creating shortcuts. So that means when you click on them, it takes you through the shortcuts app. It takes about half a second as you saw, but it can bug people. Now a little hack to reduce that amount of time is go to your settings, accessibility, and then you're going to click on motion. And then up the top here, we're going to click reduce motion. So this is gonna basically just make that really quick motion a lot faster. So now, as you can see, when I click on it, it's a lot quicker. So yeah, that's obviously gonna bug some people. It doesn't bother me because I like a really pretty customized screen. You can do what you want with this. You can just make cute little widgets with some photos and then still have your normal apps or you can customize it like I have. Another thing you can actually do is hide home screen. So I've obviously got two home screens showing, but I actually have more. So what you do to hide a home screen or bring a home screen back is go edit home screen and then when I tap the three buttons at the bottom, I've got more than one home screen, but, but I've just selected to show these two. And that's brought that back as well. So what I really like about this is the opportunity to have certain screens for like, say for work. And if you're like having a weekend off, you can hide that screen and then it's kind of like out of sight, out of mind. You can even choose to get rid of all of them. If you want to be really minimalist, you can um, choose to just have your home screen. So not have this extra app page there. Just unselect it. And then you just have the app library there. So yeah, these are really good because you can hide them and bring them back at any time. So as I said, I really like that we can hide home screens now. I'm someone who, if I'm supposed to like have the day off, I'll still hop on emails or I'll still hop over to work stuff. So it's cool that you can put all like your work stuff on a screen. And if you're someone who plays games or does extra stuff on the weekend, you can put all those apps on a screen as well. So you don't get like distracted at work. I think that's a really cool like productivity tip. You can grab my iPhone packs as well in blush and beige and mint and gray. I'll give you guys the link below and that has like wallpapers. It has the widget backgrounds, quotes. Let me know if you end up customizing your phone. I'd love to see and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.